Hey guys, it's David Phillips here again with, um, I just saw the speak with me. Yeah, it's, uh, first thing you need to ever. I've uh, got the glasses still. Cheap disposable, um, looks like sunglasses, glasses, and, uh, the movie was really good. It, it was funny. It was very funny. It was very, very funny, actually. Um, so she spent my aunt called me this morning and told me I'm good, that she was going to take a picture with me too. She asked if me and the kids wanted to go, me and my brother and sister wanted to go. And I was like, yeah. I'm, I was asking myself, was Evil Dead? And that was really a big surprise. So I was like, maybe this movie won't be so bad. I mean, maybe it'll be fun. Maybe it'll be, you know, there will be a good experience. It was a good experience. It was a really good experience. It was. An amazing experience. So, yeah, um, the whole movie was a complete laugh. Um, then we actually knew at the beginning because it was told to us. Um, at this point, you probably want to know what the story is. Well, Clay was a retired villain, and he wants to make jams and jellies. Yeah, he accepted the role of a father very well, going as far as to have the kid have give the kids a birthday party. At the end of the film. And you know, what do you want? You want, to, you want, to, want to talk to the people too? Look, guys, Puppy! Puppy! I don't know what he's doing. He's such a cute little puppy, isn't he? Okay, you, you, um, you can sit there if you want to. Um, so, he's basically gotten to the father role completely. He gave the kids a birthday party, the minions are there, and the minions are, you will not scoff. The minions are, are actually really funny. You know, I thought they would be like a joke dad, but you know, every minion had a humongous role as part of the film. They're, they're basically part of the central plot, which is a really cool thing, because, you know, a lot of people say, oh, they're, they're just there, the minion is just there. They're actually the central plot, plot point of the film. You know, it's like, oh, okay, what's this villain's goal? What's this villain's anything? Um, first off, the villain steals the minions. Throughout the film, he's still there, the minions. I'm not going to tell you what he does with them, because that's a that's actually a shocker, too. But, um, <laughs> large popcorn and large Diet, oh, Diet Pepsi. The lips are dry completely. I should have gotten a bottle of water. Um, but, so, to stop, to stop this villain... Actually, he doesn't even know everyone's there until near the end. He doesn't realize his minions are gone until near the end, because there's so many of them. But he knows a lot of them by name. There's even a minion named Dave. Costume growing for Comic Con! I probably give it a grill. Yeah, I'll shave my head and I'll be grill. Hello! Hello, everyone! Dave! Ugh, that sucked. Um, and he was approached by the NDL, the Anti-Villain League, who puts it on the cover, and he has to find out who the villain is. But he's like, by the way, oh, it's this guy. I know it's this guy. And it's like, no, he's not that guy. No, he's not that guy. There's a really prosperous guy in charge. Of course there's a prosperous guy in charge of the, of the, the security organization. How many security organizations have a prosperous guy involved? I don't even know who plays the posh British guy, though. Let me, let me check while I'm talking. Anyway, um... What about this? Uh, he's teamed up with, the, uh, with a female who has to help him stop the situation, and she's actually really funny, too, which is a really big surprise, because like I've said before, um, it's a really hard thing. Okay, it's, um... Her name is Lucy, and she's played by Kristen Wood. Christian Wig, I know that guy. Kristen Wig. Steve Coogan plays Silas Ramsbottom, the, the head, the guy I was talking about. Where was he from? He's from, uh... He's an English actor. Called it. I would say him. That's right. I mean, they have to save the world, and they have to stop this evil villain who has this 
horrible, horrible plan to destroy the entire world. If you want to take it over, I'm, I, I'm confused, I know. It was a really, really funny film, honestly. Um, do you want to call for the minions? And they were really like good minions. The minions were actually, you know, each minion had a different personality. A lot of them had a personality. Which is a weird thing. A minion, um, is, you know, people always say the minion minions are going to do these weird, um, things which are going to be thrown away, the throwaway characters. The minions were a vital part of the film. If they weren't these minions, I think they wouldn't be as much funny, it wouldn't be as much well designed as it is. I think the minions are a big part of the film, and I thought they were a really good part. I've gone over the plot enough. Um, let's talk about the the big thing. You know, the, the third reason it costs so damn much these days. Stay there. Three B. They didn't utilize it a lot, but I thought it was really well done. Uh, I can't see three B in the traditional sense. So when I heard I was going to be doing seeing the movie in three D. I was like, oh no, you know, we're going to have to see this movie in 3D, really, but I was able to see it. It was really well done, but it wasn't as done well as I wanted to. I, I would have loved if there was um, a little bit more, like it was a little more, well, a little more humor, a little more of the, of the scenes they did after the 3D, which was better. But it was a really funny film. And the end scene, which a lot of Pixar films, are, uh, <coughs> DreamWorks, I mean, do these days, uh, they did the 3D moments there. A lot of the 3D was done there. And I'm like, this was really funny. This was really good, well done 3D. Uh, I was laughing my ass off the whole time watching this. And my aunt's like, oh, <laughs> that was funny. 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 But she was laughing, and we just spent the whole time uh, laughing. It was a funny, funny film. And at the end, there's like two songs done by the minions. Piano Coffin, you know, who I just mentioned, you know, did the voice of Kevin, the min of the minions above. And it was a very, very funny thing. Uh, they did, um, you know, I'm not going to tell you what they did, because it's that funny. You have to see it to believe it. it it's definitely a film that, you know, kids would love, adults would love it even more. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's released on June 5th in Australia, but it was released July 3rd here. So if you're in America or Europe, you really want to see this film. I mean, I saw it, like, not even two hours, over two hours ago. Not even, not even two hours, started two hours ago. Um, I saw it, like, not even yeah, a half hour ago. It, it finished, like, a, like, 45 minutes ago. So, it was really good. It was really that good. Um, I also talked about the animation now. Animation was great. I mean, I always talk, I talked to my brother a lot about animation in video games. And I really wish the animation was better in, like, things like Mass Effect 1, or, God, the ragdoll physics would, like, a ton of games would be better. Um, and Total Mains, I wish the animation was better. This is what I mean. I wish that the animation was like DreamWorks, which was really good. Uh, music is really well done here. The music was, like, the best part. Uh, so, final score. Um, 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10, because there's a, there's a lot of good moments in the film. The only problem I've had was the fact that they were 3D as much as they should have. I didn't realize they should have been utilized in every way. The, the, the camera just, fuck it. Um, it's an amazing film that I think a lot of people should see. It's not going to teach any life lessons. It's not going to show you that the world is going to be a beautiful place and there's going to be things and kittens everywhere, but if you're looking for a funny laugh, a fun laugh, your kids would love it, I love it, it's 
not stupid, ha ha. It's more, that's how comedy is done. It's like, that's comedy. The timing to the comedy is everything. That's why it's a 9 out of 10. The timing is everywhere. It's like, it's like, oh, there's a fire, a fire, a fire! Uh, I think you know what I'm talking about, the scene from the trailer. Let me tell you, it got funnier. And the movie ends with such a great funny moment. The movie ends with a lot of funny moments, and it's so, so worth the time. <sighs> now, if you excuse me, I need to get to sleep. It's been a, it was a great film. So glad that I didn't mind. But then again, um, if you don't like 3D, Don't worry about it. I hate the fact that I have a camera like this. <laughs>